Channel 2 Action News investigates a local physician who's facing a criminal investigation in a lawsuit. A teen patient says he groped her during an exam. Consumer investigator Jim Strickland now live in Douglas County. So, Jim, you learned the doctors faced similar complaints before. Not just any doctor, a pediatrician. A 13-year-old needed a sports physical, so she came to this clinic in Douglasville. This lawsuit spells out allegations of inappropriate contact at the hands of a 76-year-old fill-in physician. It's a Tuesday outside a Cobb restaurant. We're there as the man in the plaid, Dr. Richard Gluckman, finds out he's getting sued. A mother and daughter are the accusers. When he touched you, what shot through you? Like uncomfortable and like helplessness. He's a grown man. He knew what he was doing. Absolutely. He preyed on my child. 13-year-old honor student Sarah Barber needed a sports physical for a soccer tryout. Her regular doctor at Westside Pediatric Clinic was on vacation. The clinic says for nine years, Richard Gluckman has served as a fill-in. Sarah's mom was in the room. She says her view was blocked, but for her daughter's face. She looked at me, and that's all. I was like, something's not right. The lawsuit's accusation, Dr. Gluckman placed his hand underneath Plaintiff Barber's shirt, inside her bra, and placed his hand on her bare breast. Never in a million years, never would I, I have ever imagined that he would have done something like that to her. I never thought that it would happen to somebody like me. Dr. Gluckman, I'm Jim Strickland from Channel 2, WSB Television. Gluckman pushed me and our camera in a hasty getaway. Sir, did you inappropriately touch Sarah Barber? No. Have you ever inappropriately touched a child? No. We've learned there have been other complaints. Cobb police confirm in 2012 they began investigating Gluckman, but they told us the case involves child abuse, and state law says those reports have to be sealed. We've also confirmed another family filed a case here with the state composite medical board. A girl now aged 26 said Gluckman inappropriately touched her chest and even commented on her breast development. She was only nine at the time. The board did not take disciplinary action. The Barber case is filed here, too. I went home and filed a complaint with the medical board immediately. We have a report 18 years old, sir, about a nine-year-old girl. Do you have anything to say about that? He didn't. But just days ago, Gluckman's attorney emailed news. A polygraph examiner says Gluckman denied cupping or fondling Sarah Barber's breast and there was no unnecessary touching. It is the opinion of this examiner, Richard J. Gluckman, was being truthful during testing. He's frustrated that a career of helping others, children, uh, uh, is potentially uh, flushed down the drain by media reports without any corroboration of the allegations. Sarah Barber's attorney is unswayed and expects more patients to come forward. This suit was filed uh, because a brave young girl stepped forward and said, this happened to me, it was wrong, and I don't want it to happen to anybody else. Now, I checked again just this morning, and Douglasville police tell me that their criminal investigation into this matter is still ongoing. The state medical board keeps secret complaints filed there, but the chairman of the medical board did agree to speak to me in general about cases involving doctors and kids. We're working that angle, plus what the owner of this clinic had to tell us, coming up for Channel 2 Action News at 6. Reporting live in Douglasville, Douglas County, Jim Strickland, Channel 2 Action News.